I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on functions. In this video, I am going to share with you one of the best questions from previous test papers. The question here is, find the point of tangency of the line with the slope equal to 4 to the parabola y equals to half x square plus 2x minus 8. Now three points are given to you to test it out. You can always pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. So basically, let's try to understand it. We have a parabola which opens upwards, so it will be kind of like this. And a line which is tangent has a slope of positive 4. So, so it is on this part of the parabola. So say it like this, right? When we say find the point of tangency, it means this particular point where this line is tangent, right? That's what we need to find. So let this point be x, y. So what you see here is that the point lies on the line and also on the parabola and it intersects only at one point. So those are the two critical things which you understand. So, so the critical things which you need to figure out here is one, that the P X Y is common to the parabola and the line. Right one. Second point is that if you think about system of equations, right? So so the parabola and line intersect only at one point. So that is tangent, right? So that is called point of tangency. So that is the other thing which we understand. Now with this in mind, I think you should be in a position to answer the question. So I'd like you to now pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Now to solve this, what we should do is, we already have the equation of the parabola. As far as the line is concerned, we can say the equation of the line can be y equals to 4x plus some constant k, right? We really don't know what this constant is. We know slope is 4, right? So slope is equal to 4. So y equals to 4x plus k is the equation of the line. Since it intersects at one point, that means we could, at that point, both y values will be same. So we could say 4x plus k should be equal to 0.5x squared plus 2x minus 8. Now here, we can solve this quadratic equation. So we get 0 equals 2. Taking this on the right side, we get 0.5x squared plus 2x minus 4x minus 8 minus k. All right? Well, so, so basically, we could write this as 0.5x squared minus 2x minus 8 minus k. So that becomes our quadratic equation to solve. How do we find k? Now in this, we'll use our strategy, which is that the line intersects only at one point. So that means, let's recall that if you have a line y equals to ax square plus bx plus c, then b squared minus 4ac should be equal to 0 for one point of intersection or the condition for tangency. Is that correct? So we'll use this particular concept to solve further. So now we are saying that b squared minus 4ac. So in our case, b is minus 2, right? A is equal to half, which is 0 0.5, right? And C is equal to minus 8 minus K. So B squared minus 4AC, which should be equal to 0, 
can now be written as minus 2 square minus 4 times a is half which is 0 0.5 times c which is minus 8 minus k that should be equal to 0 perfect now minus 2 square is 4 and this is uh, 4 half is 2 so we could write this as minus 2 times well um, you may write minus 8 minus k for now right we can now bring it to the other side and then figure out the value of k, right? It can be easily solved. So we have 4 equals to 2 times, this is minus, minus 8 minus k. So 2 equals to minus 8 minus k and k will be equals to minus 8 and bringing down 2 to this side, we get minus 10, correct? So the value of k is minus 10. Now once we get the value of k, we can actually get the point also, right? So uh, k being minus 10, we will now write uh, in our equation which we had minus 10 and then solve for it, right? So now we have 0 equals to 0 0.5x square minus 2x and minus 10 so there is minus 8 plus 10 okay minus and minus okay so we get our equation as 0 equals to 0 0.5 x square minus 2 x and that is plus 2 right now from here um, we could take half common so you get 0 equals to half common this is 0 0.5 x square minus 4 x this is plus 4, correct? Now that can be factored, so we get 4 times. This is 2 square, right? So we can write x minus 2 whole square, and that gives you x equals to 2 as our value. Well, we do have a value for x equals to 2. The only thing is, we need to figure out, if I write 2 here, what do I get? Okay? So let's find the value of y when x is 2. Right? So that's the whole idea. So we can substitute 2 here and calculate. So we get y equals to substituting 2 which is 0 0.5 times 2 square plus 2 times 2 minus 8. Right? So that is 4 half of 4 is 2 plus 4 minus 8. So 6 minus 8 is minus 2. So we get 2 minus 2 as our solution. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to solve this particular question. Now this is extremely important question, slightly difficult at this stage, but I hope you've understood the solution. The whole idea here is that since we are given the slope 4, we can say that the equation of the line should be y equals to 4x plus k. Now to find the value of k, we know that they intersect only at one point. So equating the y values, we get a quadratic equation. And this quadratic equation should satisfy the condition b square minus 4ac equals to 0. Only then, we have only one point of tangency, right, so since this is 0. So substituting that, we could solve for a value of k. Substituting k back into our equation, we got the value of x. It's kind of tricky. So I hope uh, you've understood all the steps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.